hello welcome back to my vlog that was such an obnoxious hello oh my god somebody is in a playful mood huh he likes for me to chase him hey what are you doing give me that 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 <gasps> go get it okay i'm leaving bye bye i just finished filming this is my filming attire have on sweats keeping it comfy and this blouse hi i've actually been having so many technical difficulties with my sit down videos last week i filmed two videos one of them was completely out of focus yay <laughs> so i couldn't use that and then the other one which was like a super chatty story was missing the audio like there was no audio to the video because of um it was my mic's fault which i'm figuring out now because right now i filmed i refilmed the part that was out of focus for one of my videos thank god it wasn't that much like it was just a portion of the video so i refilmed that and then i had filmed a whole other video and half of the audio i like checked it right away to see because i was like wait i should check the audio um and thank god that i did um so i checked the audio and half uh, like towards the end of the video the audio was missing again so i just refilmed it without the mic and hopefully it syncs okay but that was really annoying i'm gonna have to get on amazon later today and find a new mic for my camera because i cannot keep having that happen yeah i just finished filming now and i'm just tired i'm gonna put a t-shirt on now we don't need this anymore Kidding. I'm not gonna get undressed with you guys. <laughs> Hold on. I'm back. Comfy clothes on deck. <laughs> hmm. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, I'm not doing anything, but at least I'm wearing orange. Hmm. FedEx is here, and I'm like wondering if it's for me. Although I don't think so. I'm not expecting anything. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Chris is working today, and I'm gonna be working as well. I have to edit. A video those are my halloween plans but we do have to run some errands first i need to go to trader joe's got a few things and then i also need to go to best buy for a new tripod tripod vlog life guys when you're a vlogger you get so excited for things like this like like things like a tripod yes so i got the joby gorilla pod tripod and this is the 1k kit i don't know i have a i have one of these but i think it's somewhere back in jersey i haven't been able to find it for months so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy a new one because the tripod that i have now i love but it's like on the shorter side and sometimes I need to place my camera in places where it just doesn't work out for me like when i'm out and about and that is why i wanted to get this one it's a little taller it's a lot more flexible oh the one that i have in jersey is way bigger so even if i do find it it's kind of perfect because that way i'll have two different types and this one is actually so perfect i needed an in-between size Oh my god this is perfect i'm so excited for this tripod and it was on sale it's originally 50 and they had it on sale for 40 so that's cool oh my god guys i need to vlog in crazy places now so i can like twist up my tripod this is really cool let's go vlog battery's dying but it's okay i think we're gonna make it before we get home
I got this tumbler from Star. Oh. I was gonna say Starbucks. <laughs> I got this tumbler from Target. <laughs> I wish it was bigger actually, because I feel like I drank this right away. It's 16 ounces, but I wish it was bigger, but they didn't have any bigger ones, whatever. It was really cute and I feel like whenever I have tumblers around, I drink so much more water. It's also easier when I'm working out to have something like this, especially at my bar class because the bar class is really quick. Like you move on to things really quickly. So a lot of times I'll fall behind like trying to open up a water bottle. Now with this, I can take my sip and get back to my workout. Anyways, um, I'm going to make my smoothie. I'm literally gonna make that strawberry smoothie I made before in one of my vlogs. Um, I think it was the vlog right before this one, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll try to remember and link it below. Mm. I called the salon and they said my new hair extensions arrived and I'm so happy. She put me down for tomorrow. Um, she says she's going to talk to my stylist when she gets in today and make sure it's okay. But so far, she put me down for tomorrow to get them installed. And I cannot wait. Those of you who have transitioned to lighter hair, let me know what like shampoos you like to... Like purple shampoos and stuff to keep like the brassiness out. I really like the lighter color back here. But this has turned so dark. If you guys remember my last vlog, like it was so much lighter and now it's like dark again and it's like kind of like reddish, not kind of, it is. But yeah, let me know which ones are your favorite. I have two that I want to try out to see which one I like more. I'm going to pick one of them up at Ulta today and then the other one I'm going to order this tomorrow because I have my VIB Rouge discount for Sephora. So I'm gonna try two of them out and see which one I like better and I'll let you guys know. But also let me know if there's any products that it's a must for me to like keep brassiness away. Because that's the only thing I don't like. Just got my nails done. I went with white. I love how white nails look. I just hate how dirty they get like with makeup and stuff. So hopefully they last looking nice for a while while i was at the nail salon i got a call from the salon and i'm so upset well i'm kind of over now but they actually they told me my hair extensions actually did not arrive they're still on back order for some reason that color that i chose it's been on back order forever like we tried ordering it i think it was two and a half weeks ago and they're still on back order but i ended up keeping my appointment for tomorrow because i think i actually want to go lighter you guys can you believe it yeah so i'm gonna go tomorrow and see what she says i always say like i'm gonna see what the stylist says first because i do like to take their advice like i i like them to see my hair and tell me like okay you can go lighter or we should hold off or whatever so i am gonna go um to go lighter the pieces in the back i don't know if you guys can tell but like the pieces in the back are lighter and I really like the lightness in that. And then the front is darker. Like it got so dark, it's crazy. I would prefer it to be lighter in the front so that I get that brightness and like lighter look in the front. So I don't know, I'm pro I'm probably gonna go lighter tomorrow. There's an Ulta behind me, so I'm gonna go to Ulta as well um, and pick up one of the purple shampoos that I saw some good reviews for. I ran out the house with my new teddy bear jacket, coat, whatever. Literally just opened it today because I wanted to wear it. And I came outside and it was pouring, like raining so hard. So hopefully it won't rain again because I don't want to ruin the jacket because it's kind of like that blanket material. Um, I think I'm officially blonde, you guys. Look at that. I am shook. I went from never wanting to leave dark hair to hi blonde it's super light in the back oh my god like i didn't realize how blonde the back was look at i'm starving <laughs> i haven't ate anything all day but i brought my cashews with me so i'm gonna snack on these while i make my way home a little otd today i got my teddy jacket i got it from honey bum when i go to jersey i'm gonna compare the quality of the two and give you guys my opinion but so far it's really warm honestly it's like wearing a blanket like a really cozy blanket but it's 
actually too hot to be wearing it today i'm gonna take it off right now it's been so warm lately i keep thinking it's gonna be cold when i go outside and it's really not this outfit you cannot wear alone and i'll tell you why it's freaking see-through this is from fashion nova it looks cute but it's super see-through the top it's fine whatever but the pants are so see-through when i went in the bathroom and i put the lights on i could see like all of my skin and when i first put it on i wore it with a thong because i thought like oh that way i won't have any panty lines but you can see my entire ass so instead i put on these like um spanx black underwear which they're basically like like they're kind of like shorts and they go all the way up to here so basically my whole butt and everything is covered thanks to this underwear but that's why i couldn't not wear a jacket out today because i i wanted my jacket to cover my butt and everything because i felt so exposed but i kept it on anyways because i'm like nobody's really gonna see me like i went to the salon in my car no one's seeing me in my car then at the salon i had a cape on the entire time so and i was sitting the entire time and then i put my jacket on and left and now i'm home so no one's gonna see See it anyways so i guess it's like just like a cute little casual outfit for the house when i tried it on i didn't realize how see-through it was so i took the tags off and everything and i gotta keep it but whatever i'm not mad at it it's really comfy to be like home and like just feel cute in it whatever okay this lighting is not that great i it's super gloomy even though it's only like four o'clock in the afternoon so i had to turn my light on which is on, a little bit on the yellow side I hate yellow lighting. I'll quickly tell you guys what happened at the salon. I'll start off by saying I'm extremely happy with the results. And I'm also really happy that we've been lightening my color gradually. Because I think if I would have gotten this color day one, I would have freaked out and probably gone back to dark hair. I love a drastic change, but I've never been this light in my life. Like, I've never had blonde pieces like that. So I think it would have been too much for me to handle at first. So I'm glad that we did it gradually for the sake of my hair and for the sake of my sanity because you guys know i love dark hair so i think it would have been a shock to me and i would have been like whoa this is too late like maybe i can't handle it i don't know why i always feel like i can't handle such light hair but um i really really like the color um this has been like a three week process because every week so far i've gone in and line my hair a little bit if you guys want to if you haven't seen the other two vlogs i will link them for you below just so you can see like how it looked the first time i try to go lighter how it looked the second time and then this is how it looks now let me show you the products that i purchased did go to ulta yesterday and i actually ended up purchasing two products i was reading so many reviews because i didn't want to waste my time on just any purple shampoo a lot of people in the past have mentioned the clairol shimmering lights but so many people within other products reviews have said that other products are way better than the clairol one so i ended up going with these two and this is actually a brand that i've used before and it had amazing reviews this is the pravana the perfect blonde purple toning shampoo and then when i was at the store i saw this which is the perfect blonde purple toning mask i don't know they're supposed to be really good and i'm excited i hope they work because since i went from such dark hair and i feel like um naturally my hair wants to go to the reddish side a lot of you could probably relate um hopefully it helps keep it under control uh because being this light is such high maintenance i think that's why i prefer having dark hair because i can just leave my hair dark and not really touch it for months on end once i figure out like what's working for me i'll of course come back and do a video just on that so that i can let you guys know and in the meantime please let me know if you recommend anything because um this is a new journey for me so i need all the help that i can get guys look who i'm here with what up though <laughs> we're having oh my God. dinner what don't get so close, babe. You always get so close to the camera. Maybe they like me close. No, no, no. So, on the low, though. That doesn't even look appetizing. That looks amazing look at mine. right there. Look at mine. Look how presentable this meal is. No, you gotta go like this. Oh, sorry. I have a wrap. Babe, tell them what you think about my new blonde hair. Because I feel like I'm blonde now. I'm like... I love it. Blondish. I love it. You love I it? Love it? I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'll be back. I got my nose strip on doing a little skincare but look at this crazy storm 
Do you guys see this? Babe, you gonna stay out there? You're not getting wet? I find it so fascinating. No, me too. Oh my god. I don't know why it's scaring me. <laughs> oh my god. It's All right, guys. We are going to bed. Time to say goodnight. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.